Hi, Bob here with JD Squared. In this video, um, we got a request from a customer who has the RC6 rotary cutter, and what he wants to do is attach tubes to another tube, but he only wants to cut out the ID of this tube here and this tube tube. He wants to cut the ID into this tube. So right now, if we rotate it, you can see where he has two tubes. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. It's a thing called wire markers. So first thing we're going to need to do is go to edit our tubes. And you can see right here, we have three tubes that he's created in Camelot. And we are going to first start off. And what he wants to do, if we were to go to cut tubes, and we were going to say, okay, we're going to cut this one here, select shapes to cut. And then we're going to select the, the cutting shapes, this one and this one, and apply it we end up with this right here to where you could kind of see where we is trying to cut through the OD of the other tube. That's not what he wants. He wants the ID of the tube. He doesn't want to cut this tube. So let's go ahead and hit control Z to back out. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to first cut these tubes so that they match to this tube and you'll see why. So let's select cut tubes. We're going to select the shapes to cut. We're going to pick this one. I'm going to hold down the control key, get the second one. And we're going to cut it with this one right here. We're going to apply it. All right. Now, if we close this, you could see now we have those two tubes coped, right? So what he wants to do is when he looks down either one of these tubes, he wants the opening cut into that tube. Now, in order to do that, it's very simple. We're going to use wire markers. So we go to wire markers. And it's select the target tube, which will be this one right here. Now we're going to select our um, connecting tubes. So we're going to select this one, hold down the control key, and select this one. Now if you notice, in yellow, it's showing us what it's proposing to do. And it's going to draw the profile of the OD of this tubing onto that one. Now I could do both inner and outer and you could see that. Now that's what I'm going to want to do and I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and hit apply. Now we have contour faces that we could work with right there. So let's go ahead, close this tool, apply and close. So now you can see what we have right here. Now we don't currently have Camelot to where we can cut the hole in this particular tube and you'll see it. That will come probably next year. Uh, we're starting to get dangerously close to very complicated software. And there's only a, you know one or two developers that work for JD Squared where there's thousands and thousands that work for like SolidWorks and all. So eventually we're going to get there. But we do have a solution for this. So let's go ahead and make a job for all items. There's a lot of things we plan on doing in Camelot. Currently, we're working on the um, flat plate stuff. Once we get done with that, we're going to be working on a history and then some other things, and we're going to get there. Okay, it's asking for me to save the name of the job. I am going to save it as that name right there. Okay, so there's our one part. No big deal, but this is the part we're interested in right here. Now, in order to cut out the openings inside the other tube, I'm going to need to move these contours to another layer. So let's go ahead and pick this one, come in, and I'll pick that one. So I pick my two. I'm going to right-click, move contours to new layer, and I am going to call it, um, I don't know, pipe holes? What the hey, right? It's pipe holes now, okay? Now, this layer out here is our cam markers. So if I select it over here, you can see where I've got the two outside ones. And on the layer pipe holes, I've got the two inside ones. Now, if I select unfolding, you can kind of see, you know, what's a little bit easier, what's going to go, what's going to happen between the different cuts. So we have the end cut, we have the start cut. All right, all we've got to do now is make a job for this, and then we can go out and cut it. So let's go ahead and add an operation. First thing we're going to do is the start cuts. Um, Power Max 85, if you notice, Camelot picked up right here that it's quarter inch material, so you don't have to worry about that. We're going to use 45 amp shielded. Let's say OK. So we have our first cut right there. Let's go ahead now and we're going to cut the probably, you know what, let's cut the cam markers. Let's cut the, um, well, what do I want to do? I want to cut the, yeah, let's cut the cam markers first, okay? So let's go ahead, make a job. We're going to select cam markers, but this time we're going to scribe them. We're not going to cut them. 
And the reason we're going to scribe them is because if we're only cutting out the, I'm sorry, I keep grabbing the wrong tool there. We'll go to the scriber and we'll say, okay. And the, the idea is we want to cut the inside of the, where the pipes join, but let's use the scriber to mark around the OD so that these welders don't have to try to look down this pipe and try to line up the holes. They could line up the other tube with the outside of our scribed markers. So we just did that here. Now let's go ahead and cut out the actual um, holes themselves. We'll say okay. Now if we select that layer you see we're cutting the holes. Let's go ahead now. Our final thing is to cut off the end cuts. We'll say okay. And we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and nest our three tubes. I'm not going to put a length in over here because you can put it in whatever you want because remember we're generally working from the end of the tube so it doesn't matter. However, I am going to make it a little bit shorter just so it, it fits on the screen a little better. Let's go ahead and nest tubes. All righty. Now if we come along and you can see right here, there's our cutting. If we were to select start cuts, there's your start cut. There's our cam markers. Only one tube we're going to mark on the outside. And then we've got the holes and then we got the end cuts. Now remember, Camelot is going to cut each one of these parts out individually. So let me show you that. Let's go ahead and run the post processor real quick. It wants to know uh, what do you want to save this as? Let's call it, um, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, wire marker test. How about that? You know? Okay, save that. <clears throat> And if we come over here to G code, there's all of the G code ready to go. Now let's go to animate to see if we have done this correctly. There's our first cutter. We're going to start cutting. Now, instead of just hitting the animate button up here and it starts cruising along at a relatively um, slow pace, I like to just come over here, click over here and hold down the arrow buttons on my um, keyboard and it rapids through the list of things. Okay, so you see we're cutting that one. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> Bear with me for a minute. We're going to go ahead and um, let it run out. Alrighty. Now what I could do is I could come over here, scroll down a little bit to let's say here. Go ahead, bounce over to this one. That's the one we want to cut to. You can see we're cutting good right there. Let's go ahead, bounce to the next cut. Keep coming, keep coming. Okay, now we're going to go to the next cut. <clears throat> Bam, we go to there. Let me move this over so you can see it a little bit better. We're cutting. Now, after this one, we're going to be cutting the holes. That's what I want to verify. I like to verify by animating. Now, I'm sorry. We're, um, yeah, we're scribing first. Though. That's what I said a minute ago. I forgot. So currently we're scribing. Now later, we're going to change Camelot to where we alter the appearance so you see a torch or you see a scribe or you see a marker. That is something to do on our to-do list. So let's go. We're cutting out. that We're marking with a scriber. <clears throat> and now if you notice, we have switched over to the torch. You can actually see the pierce height, everything right here. We are now cutting out the holes. And if we were to fast forward... Just keep on cruising. There you go. And we're cutting out the other one right there, and away you go. Now, in, in Camelot, there is a way to do contour ordering. Um, if we go back here to this, if we were to reorder the contours, we would have to go back to the actual parts themselves. But you can do that, but this won't be a problem on here because we're going to be cutting this not in the stabilizer because this is four and a half inch pipe so in this particular case we don't really care if you want to see about contour ordering drop me an email it is something i plan on doing a video but we don't need it for this job so let's don't do it anyway all i have to do now is take this g-code out to the machine load my machine up and cut these parts out and that's how you do it thanks for watching hope you have a great day take care bye